previously on this channel. This is what I recorded. Check out my pins, comments, and my description box and the end cards to see this video. Greetings, hello to you. It is V from V Love and Crystals and V Love and Tarot. Thank you for voting for another pick a card reading. This one is on what big changes are on the horizon. If you want to vote for, with us continuously, check out my community tab. I post lovely pick a cards over there, uh, voting polls, uh, discounts, etc., etc. Take part in the community, in, in the interaction. So, part number, th number one, two, and three. I shuffled these out with my coffee deck and eye candy oracles to get you your selections. And then I'm going to place some beautiful crystals on each one. Actually, I'm going to choose some necklaces for each of these piles. These beautiful necklaces. I love these crystal um, necklaces here. So you'll, you'll see. I have one pink that's right on me right now. I'm trying to get... Oh, there we go. So pile one, you're going to have... You're going to have this green crystal right here. So pile one, you and this green crystal with the purple necklace. Pile number two, you're going to have this white crystal here with the black necklace. This looks like a jasper. This looks like crystal, clear crystal quartz. And this looks like an emerald or jade. jade. Um, here you go. This green crystal with the black necklace. These are your piles. Which one do you feel holds your message? Your messages. Timestamps are always linked below. If you want to book a reading with me, uh, I would love to pull for your energy. You can do so by leaving a comment. I'm sorry, by uh, checking out my pinned comments. It's next to my blue heart. It says, book a reading. Thank you for your, your subscription, your like, your view, for buying my decks, for booking readings, and for continuously showing love in the comments. So let's see what changes are on the horizon for each of you piles. One, two, and three. Okay, I'll see you over at your selections. All right, let's do this. All right, pile number one, what's going on? You chose the green. I'll put this on my wrist for you so you can still see it. All right, the green crystal right here. All right, hopefully it doesn't bang against my... <laughs> my table. So you chose the surprises uh, uh, oracle. Thank you so much for choosing that. I'm going to uh, shuffle for your energy. Pile number one. What big changes are on the horizon for you? Pile number one. Yes, yeah, starting to bang. So I'm not going to do that to your ears. I'm just going to place it right where I had it first. I love rotating my necklaces. I wear like one once a week. Okay. Tell me what your big changes are happening for you, pile number one. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Bless you and your family. May things work out for you in your favor. Thanks for voting for this as well. Okay, what changes are happening for you? Oh, two of pentacles. That's interesting because I, would actually, I was actually recording another pick a card. But Spirit's saying, nope, go in order. What are your priorities? And so this one was coming up first. This pick a card topic, even though I was try trying to do another one that was love related. Oh, hard work. And so now we're trying to get our priorities straight. And you are doing the same, pile number one. So what big horizons? Empress, oh, a lot of earth energy. What horizons? I mean, what changes are on the horizon? <laughs> More work. What changes are on the horizon? Power number awesome one. Last one. You have quite some good cards here. Lovely pile one group. Two of pentacles, eight of pentacles, six of pentacles. Okay, so th basically your surprises, your, your changes are that things are going to be working out when it comes to your career, your finances, uh, even... <sighs> See, even how you perceive money is going to be changing. Four of Pentacles, that's security. Uh, how you perceive your money, making smarter choices, spending choices, saving your savings, like saving uh, 
boundaries, like your boundaries on how, how much you save each day, I mean each week, each month, like setting boundaries on like, you know what, I'm not going to be spending more than this, this is how much I'm going to be saving instead. Like you really feeling like you're wrapping your head around how you're uh, going about um, your, your, your spending habits. Yeah, there's going to be big changes when it comes to your career, you could be someone who's looking for a better job, or you um, working with people, finding new opportunities. Oh, look at that. Yes, you got the Empress and you got the Emperor. Like you, you are in for a treat. Okay, so first of all, you got a lot of pentacles here. Um, determination, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. You're staying determined. You're like, I'm not giving up without a fight. This is this is my, my my lifestyle. This is my livelihood. This is what I do for a living. I'm making healthier decisions, healthier choices, uh, better decisions when it comes to um, what I, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into. I'm maximizing my energy. You, uh, what I mean by that is you're preserving your energy for better and bigger things, and those things are going to lead to money-making opportunities. Like for example. Oh, I can scroll on TikTok all day long, or I can scroll on TikTok all day long and make money. <laughs> it's like, if I'm going to put all my energy into this, I'm going to make money from it. Um, you're maximizing your energy. You're putting, thank you, Spirit. You're putting your energy into things that bring you, you know, success and results. Uh, for some of you, there's a portion of you that uh, could be meeting your other half during this time. Uh, changes like d when you do experience a change love could be coming in as well I see the Emperor I see the Empress I see the lovers um, <clears throat> Wow journey yeah your journey into big changes uh, it, it involves your finances and your 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 love life nice you got six of Pentacles yes you do generosity and you have the Empress receiving you have a lot of earth energy Rejuvenation, things healing, things looking up, things uh, just taking off. I see momentum building. Uh, you have if, as long as you stay determined, as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't feel discouraged, let discourage, or let your let yourself be discouraged. So discouraged that you like you know forget it. I'm not doing this. No, you you keep up on top of the game. You keep on top. You keep with the game. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it up. Also, you are honing your skills and your crafts, your abilities, your gifts. I see a lot of gifts, your skills, your abilities. You are honing your, 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 your mastering yourself. You're like, you know what? This is how I can improve. This is what I can do better. Skill development. There you go. Duality. Lovers. There's a choice. You might have a choice between two lovers. I see two of pentacles. Uh, an option. Thank you, spirit. Mm-hmm. I told you. Options when it comes to... <laughs> <laughs> money having choices two jobs or more I'm getting I'm feeling very nauseous by the way um ooh okay I'm feeling very um like I'm picking up on somebody's uh, energy they're feeling like one of you is feeling very anxious to start this journey it's very nerve-wracking like not knowing what the other side entails you 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 also might be juggling Love and your money. Love and career. Okay, the nausea is subsiding. Okay, woo. Man, that was intense. I'm like, what the heck? I, I'm not pregnant. I'm not... I know for sure I'm not pregnant. <laughs> um, there's no reason for me to be feeling nauseous because it's not me. It's me picking up on somebody else's energy. For sure. And you got the Empress right here. So nauseous for... Uh, people starting something brand new, afraid to take the plunge, nauseous for others of you who are trying to conceive, and that could be a blessing too. It's a surprise. You're like, whoa, what? I wasn't expecting this. Receiving Empress, surprise gift. You have this beautiful surprise, this card with the donuts and the sprinkles. So baby sprinkles, she's sprinkling some stars. So some of you could be receiving good news about pregnancy. If that's what you're looking for. If not, you're looking for, wow, you're, you're getting some kind of freaking whirlwind of unexpected income. A whirlwind of opportunities for you to choose from. You have security, you have stability, wow. 
this is just wild anticipation yeah you're waiting yeah empress it's covering the empress so some of you are expecting a baby some of you are expecting money increase in money <clears throat> all the decks i use will always be linked below in my pins comments and description box all right you have uh, aspirations yeah that's covering up the dreams card the star so you have dreams goals aspirations that you're trying to accomplish fulfill and you will do just that that's the surprise here sensuality that's your feminine energy coming through that's your your feminine energy saying you know what i like i like how i feel i feel sexual i feel sensual i feel i feel myself i feel whole i feel beautiful i feel attractive oh i'm starting to take my hair out my hair is saying whip whip your hair out uh-huh whip your hair back and forth whip your hair back and forth Whip your hair back and forth. Whip your hair. Whip your hair. Whip your hair back and forth. All that fun stuff. All right. Let's cut the deck. See what we get. Autumn. So you can expect things changing for sure. Autumn changes. Fortune. There you go. I'm not, this is not This is not here for no reason. Okay, friends? The, the spirit is saying you're in for a whirlwind of beautiful blessings. I did see the childhood card. Of course, I put it back with prosperity. I saw the childhood card. So you, yeah, there you go, childhood. So you, some of you are expecting children. <clears throat> some of you are stepping more into your youthful energy, feeling more playful. All right, good for you. Good for you. Good for you, my dear. Pile number one. All right, so now, since we have love here, <clears throat> you know me, I'm going to whip out some love cards. I'm just going to read to you what it says. I'm not going to determine or decipher. I'm just going to read word for word, verbatim, on what these cards are trying to tell you when it comes to love coming through, because that's part of your surprise. All right. Love coming through, pile one. Love coming through, pile one. What love is coming through, pile one? What messages from your love life? All the decks, like I said, are links below. I love to use, I have a whole stack of them. There's probably like 300 so far from other creators and myself wow all right are you ready second seven seconds of fire let's do it one two three four five six seven sometimes i think about what it would be like to lose you and it's the worst feeling in the world my security my insecurities get the best of me you know it's interesting you have security and insecurities you you touch my mind and set my body on fire blocked i will push through you, you're all mine. Competition. Do not speak. I already know. You make me a better person. I do wish you well. All right, so I'm going to um, cut the deck. Hold on. I'm going to cut the deck when it comes to your advice to see what this is saying. I'm not kidding around, my friends. If I, if I, if I say I have 300 cards locked and loaded for... <laughs> <laughs> if I say I have 300 cards locked and loaded for your love portion of, the, of this reading, I'm not kidding. Look at this. This is one pile. Look at that. How chunky that is. This is my other pile. It's like 300 cards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I shuffled all these so that they will all be mixed and blended. Look at all this. So yeah, 300 cards ready, locked and loaded, ready for your shuffle magic. Uh, when it comes to love, okay, friends? So whenever you want a love reading, I got your back with all these beautiful decks plus clarifiers for love. Okay. So, okay, so basically I feel like your love life is really... There's, like, somebody in here that's coming towards you in love. Now I'm going to shuffle these cards um, for your, your love messages again. Okay, what's coming next in love? This, this surprise. What's this love surprise? What's this love surprise? Twin flame love? Really? Because you do have the lovers here. That can be soulmate energy, twin flame energy, divine souls. Okay. What's coming next in love? Witch. Intelligence. Psychic power. Someone who can be very spiritual, psychic, insightful. Tease, a tease. 
a gift. <laughs> oh my gosh, do what you love. And King of Cups. Oh, I'm done. That's it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So this person coming in here is someone who... Wow. So you got gifts twice, my friend. <clears throat> you already saw this this Empress energy with the gift. There you go. So you, this, this person has it all for, for you. You have Passage. The One. Karmic connection. That's the, the the lovers can be a soul connection, karmic, twin flame, um, twin souls. Uh, what else? Resistance. I find it difficult letting go. Sovereignty. Supreme power, wealth, and arrogance. So this is someone who could be like the King of Wands, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of uh, yeah, King of Cups, King of Fire. I'm sorry, King of Swords, King of Air. So this this someone, they have something to tell you, they have something to offer you. This person could be very uh, appealing, it would be hard to resist them. I see the resist, I see the tease. Someone who is like very sensual and attractive. Also, the surprise is doing what you love. This is like you stepping into your creative abilities, your gifts. You have all these gifts here and it seems very magnetic. Like you're attracted to doing something you're supposed to be doing. You're attracted to someone you're supposed to be with. The one. King of Cups. Alright, that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you want to book a reading, please do so by finding my link below next to my blue heart. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked any of the things that I said, or if you liked any of the materials I used, all the decks that I used, please join us over on Patreon. Your energy exchange goes right back into the videos. More pick a cards, more daily readings, more beautiful decks to use. And I thank you, my Patreon link is below. Pile number two, you have reflection. This white crystal is here. Hello, pile number two. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for voting for this topic. This one is on um, big next next big changes happening for you. So let's dive in. I appreciate you for your time. You love your support. Power one, you had me whipping my hair back and forth. I'm going to put it back up so I don't get hot. So if you want to see what the heck happens in that reading, check out power one. That was amazing. All right. So let's dive in for you. Let's dive into your reading. Let's see what uh, big changes are on the horizon for you. Bless you on your path. Thank you for your love, your support, for buying readings from me, for buying decks from me, for clicking on this video, for interacting. You you know who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, pile number two. What big changes are on the horizon for you? You have the Five of Cups. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Okay, yes, if you want to take part in future voting polls, join my community tab. Okay. Changes. Oops, sorry. Changes. Ooh, you got the High Priestess. What changes are on the horizon for you, Pond number two? You have the Queen of Wands. The Three of Wands, what changes are on the horizon for you? The Four of Cups and changes on the horizon for you, pound number one. I'm sorry, pound number two. Did I say pound number one? Pound number two, I know who you are. Pound number two. Ten of Pentacles, all right. Okay, I think my third eye is saying pile one, so if you feel inclined to check out pile one, that might have part of your message. All right, so for you, group two, you have reflection here. I think you're reflecting on somebody that you had to walk away from. There, there's a change in how you perceive this, this, um, this goodbye, this, this ending. Sorry, this ending. Why did it come out like that? This goodbye. Um, so. Okay, so for some of you, you went through a change, an ending, a, a breakup, a separation, a divorce, and now your perception on it is changing. Reflection, Five of Cups, Two of... I'm sorry, the High Priestess. Um, you're gaining insight on this. You're, you're connecting to Source more because you're, you're, you're healing. You're walking away from something, or you have, and now you're coming out on the other side. You're feeling more powerful, more in your control. Uh, time has gone by, so the change is that it's less painful. It's more, you're more in control, more powerful. 
um, you have the world card. Yeah, you're completing a cycle. You're feeling like you're finally through the, the, the thick of it, that you're through the eye of the storm. You're out on the other side. Seven of Cups, your perception on things have changed. You're, um, you have more options in, in front of you now. You have more, uh, you're able to see more silver linings, more positive you're, you're, you're more positive now, and I think things are being presented to you n more now than before. You have the strength. Yeah, like I said, you're, you're in control. You're in your strength. You're feeling very powerful, majestic. Uh, Queen of Wands with the strength card. Um, you're just like, you're like, you're like, uh, you know what? I don't want to hear about this, this, and this. It doesn't concern me. I'm staying in my high vibration. Two of Swords with the Three of Wands. You're waiting. I think you... Okay, Spirit's saying you don't see something coming. It's it's coming, but you just don't see it yet. So Spirit's saying don't give up. Three of Wands, something is coming in that you've put your heart, sweat, blood, sweat, and tears into. Don't give up. It's still here. Something that you created a while ago, or you've done, or you decided on, or you chose from a while ago, it's finally coming in. Oh, I was going to say, just think of you putting your, you filing your taxes. You're like, you know it's coming, but you don't know when. You don't know how much. You don't know how you're going to feel when you receive this. Is it good? Is it bad? Are you going to be able to save it or pay your bills with it? Or will you be able to, I don't know, X, Y, and Z with it? Who knows? But you know it's on the horizon. And you, there you go, speaking of money, you're the king of pentacles. Okay. You have ten of pentacles, king of pentacles. So tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, please, por favore, por favore, tell me why, why, oh my gosh, one second, you got all these cards, but... you do have the Ace of Wands from my previous pile, it can... my card fell right on top of it, my cards, so if it's been, if it's supposed to be here, I will put it right there, Ace of Wands, we'll see how that plays out, I think you do have a new beginning, a new idea, that could turn into something money, money uh, lucrative, sorry. Ten of Pentacles, you got the Nine of Wands. So why is the Nine of Wands here? These came out. Nine of Wands, you're, defense, you're defending your money. Uh, five of Wands, there's competition when it comes to your money. And how you make your money. You could be stepping into a field where it's very competitive. And everybody's out uh, to, to fend for themselves. The survival of the fittest. How can you stand out from the crowd? How can you catch the eyeballs, the attention? How can you make more money? Uh, how? By two of cups, by working with others. It's who you know that can help you grow. Um, yeah, oh shite, oh shite. So you have Ace of Wands, now you have the Ace of Swords. So you have an idea and you're going to put action in, in, towards it. And then you have the Page of Swords. So yeah, you have an idea, do more research on it, take this idea, run with it, create something with it, and go for it. Go for it all the way. Go for it all the way. Three of Cups, it's who you know that can help you, what? Help you grow. So this is saying, uh, yeah, look, five of, five of Swords, it's competition. Okay, in, in the very beginning of this video, I did say that um, two of the piles will have like enormous surprises coming, changes. And then there would be like probably one pile that didn't have that much going on. I mean, there was just very minute changes, but overall, to me, it's it, it could be something minute because I'm comparing it to the other piles. But to you, it's it's a grand, grand uh, uh, event. This is like something that you've been waiting for, wanting. So, and for for the next person, it could be something really small, to, but to you, it's it's huge. So, I'm going to step into your mindset. I, I feel like it is a, an important change. So, what I mean by that is, for some of you, you're, a, you're, bless you, cleansing the energy. For some of you, um, you're saying goodbye to something to a business, to a way of, of living, a way of doing, a way of making money, you're saying goodbye. 
you're realizing it is what it is. I, I've exhausted all avenues in this field, in this job, in this relationship, whatever, however it pertains to you. And I have to say goodbye to it. And then you say goodbye, you wipe your hands clean, you close your bank accounts, whatever business bank account you have, you close down your shop, you end a relationship, you end a friendship, you move houses, whatever. And guess what? You step more into freaking, you, you step out of the storm. You step out of the, the chaos, the conflict. So Ten of Swords, yeah, you, this is like very bitter to swallow. It's like, it's like crap, I didn't want to say goodbye to this. And, but then you say goodbye and you step into your emperor's hat. And I was just feeling, I, the reason why I was feeling, feeling like I had to cleanse this is because I, I was feeling very, like I'm feeling like my energy is lowering right now. Because uh, I'm tapping into somebody's um, situation. I feel like there is some kind of... See, you see tens, ten pentacles, ten swords, ten. The world, we have a fortune. You... Oh, wait till you see what's in the, underneath. <clears throat> some of you, you were... Like, so there's some kind of negativity surrounding your finances, surrounding your your mental health. And so you say goodbye to this, you close this out. You heal from this, and then you got your, your Wheel of Fortune. Okay, for some of you, if you did a business, this is why you're reflecting. See, this card right here says reflection. If you had a business with someone, that person could have negative energy, or they just brought you down, <clears throat> or they impacted you in some way. So it, it affected how you make your money, or how, how your lifestyle is, your life your lifestyle, livelihood. It just impacts your livelihood, how you go about, how you go about, yeah, I feel like someone's exhausted here. How you go about making your money impacted that, and so now you're realizing, okay, there's, there's no more here. I've squeezed enough juice, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye to this chapter, close this cycle out, Wheel of Fortune, <clears throat> and now let's start a new chapter. And when you do that, you step into the Ten of freaking Pentacles, okay? What, what what was that? It was the Ten of Pentacles. It was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you step into the Ten of Pentacles, but then you work your way up to the Queen. This is the Queen of Pentacles with the Emperor. And then you have two Tens. So you got lots of Tens here. Two Tens. Twenty. This is uh, Judgment Day. And then you have your rebirth, your, reawake, your awakening, your renewal. Okay, friends? So, in Six of Cups, and then things start to come pour back into you. Your love for love for money again. Your love for yourself again. Your love for your business. Your love for your family. Your love for your hobbies, your friendships. And now things are, are turning over. So, the change is that something has to be put to rest. Something has to be deaded, ended. Ten of Swords, so goodbye. Let's just say goodbye to it. I know it's a bitter pill to swallow. But there's no more love here, there's no more money here, there's no more juice here. It's time to walk away. You reflect, you heal, and then you step into your abundance. Lovely pile too. Wow, that's pretty much what I have to say. I feel like I can't. And I, I got 11.15 on the clock. So, um, yeah, 5 plus 1 is the lovers, 15 the devil, and that's what you're walking away from. That's the devil's right here. So 11.15, yes, so 11.11, 11, awakening after the devil energy, after the darkness. Okay, friends, um, <clears throat> I'm going to cleanse this energy. Clear crystal quartz right here, so cleansing your energy. Let's, let's bring in some good vibes. What's that? <clears throat> let's elevate our energies. I'm feeling, I don't want my energy to feel like this, so let's ener ener level up. Let's do this. Pile number two, I wish you the best. Blessings. Overcome those obstacles. You're almost there. Keep going. Don't give up. Stay stay persistent. Embrace this change. Trust the process. Okay. So you got... <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> belief. Belief. Trust the process. Your angels are encouraging belief in you. Consider mastering your strength, willpower, and confidence. You're going to go overcome this big time. Healing. That's what I said. 50-50. 5 plus 5 is 10. Your angels are helping you with healing. Broken relationships will mend and you will find closure. Thank you, Spirit. Chances, 955. 5, 5. <clears throat> 5 plus 5 is 10. Your angels are encouraging you to take chances. Leave no room for doubts or fear. Rewards, 777. 
7777. Your angels are reminding you of your hard work and determination. Yes! Yeah, stay, stay, stay in this. Don't give up. Don't throw the towel. <clears throat> of course, you have to say goodbye to something, but then you start something new. And just because you don't see rewards right away, don't throw in the towel. Keep it up. It's time to slow down and enjoy your accomplishments. You know, and don't don't burn yourself out. Don't be the Ten of Wands. Because I see Nines and Tens. Don't be the Ten of Wands where you, you know, be careful not to be the Ten of Wands when you burn yourself out. And then you're no good to anybody. Mastery, Angel 1003. See, 1003, 10. Your angels are helping you improve your creative talents. You are also being helped with upgrading your life. Thank you. That's the judgment. You got a lot of Tens, my friend. Mastery, that's you mastering your skills, your crafts, your, your gifts, your abilities, your you dusting off your 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 um your resume. Truth 6464. Six plus four is ten. Six plus four is ten. Your angels are guiding you on the path to the self-discovery. Keep searching and you will find clarity and the answers you seek. Bingo. So thank you for watching. I bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked any of the things that I said or if you liked any of the materials I used, all the decks that I used, please join us over on Patreon. Your energy exchange goes right back into the videos. More pick a cards, more daily readings, more beautiful decks to use. And I thank you. My Patreon link is below. Hi, on number three, you have Yin Yang. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you for voting for this pick a card. Um, this is a general reading, so if it m means anything to you, then beautiful. If not, then it's not your, your reading. Check out the other piles, or another pick a card, or another reader. Whatever you wish. Uh, if you want to vote for more pick a cards, check out my community tab. I like to keep it interactions going, you know, keep it, keep us active in the community tab. I have discounts, I have updates, all that fun stuff, voting polls. Alright, so thank you for voting for this, and let's dive in. So lovely pile number three. What changes are on the horizon for you? If I have a pick a card playlist for this specific title, I will link it down below as well. So you can keep everything organized. You got the Three of Pentacles, sweet. What changes? What changes are on the horizon? The Hanged Man. What changes are on the horizon for you, Pop 3? Ten of Swords, that came out in Pile 2. Changes on the horizon. All right, let's dive in. All these cards are coming out for a reason. Okay, Knight of Cups, sweet. Oh, you're talking about love. Okay, Queen of Swords, okay. The Moon, Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Swords. I'm gonna cut the deck for two other cards. One, two. All right, so you got Knights of, <laughs> really, really? You have the Queen of Swords clarified by the Knight of Swords. Okay, so Spirit, oh wow. Thank you, Spirit. This is lovely. I hate when my thing is not lined up. To me, it looks lined up when I look at the table. When I look up above, it's crooked. And my camera looks nice and lined up. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to stop whining right now. So lovely pile number three. Let's dive into each card separately and figure out, um, and, and figure out what the keywords are popping out. R, okay, so hold on. I want to uh, pull, pull another kind of want to pull another card here for my yin yang. Why is a yin yang here? Four of Wands. Oh, snap! Yes, stability. That's stability right there. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Okay, <clears throat> ready for seven seconds of um, answers. Ready? So, uh, uh, yin yang is here because there are two things happening simultaneously. Um, this is something that is affecting either your love life and your finances. Um, I do see romance here. So I see money here. I see three of pentacles, five of pentacles, wheel of fortune. So this can have to do with love and money. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe it's happening simultaneously. <coughs> Um, so yin yang with the four of wands, there is going to be a sense of stability, something changing when it comes to your security. Your uh, yeah, I'm getting green. I'm getting uh, like um, earthy energy, like you know, tangibles, uh, valuables. So your structure, how you see, how you know it to be right now, is changing. Four of wands is becoming more stable, more solid, more grounded, more. Um, <clears throat> um, What's the word? It's 
before, okay, so you, I'm getting a reference of the three pigs. Um, before you built a house with straw, it didn't work out. Then you built your hot house with sticks, it didn't work. Then you built your house with bricks. And voila, you found what makes what makes a, a perfect home, a safe, warm home. And I feel that's what's happening with you. <clears throat> You're finally finding something that sticks, that works. Uh, Three of Pentacles, working with others, collaborating, learning from others, your peers, um, picking brains. Uh, Three of Pentacles, for the Haynes man. This is, these are not clarifiers, although um, this is a clarifier, so the... These are just cards I wanted to fly out, so these are not clarifying the top row. I'm going to go each one, go through each one. So Three of Pentacles, yes, collaborating. Okay, so the changes. You working great with others. This is like beautiful energy, like finally on the same page. Finally, you know, you're reading each other's cues and body language. Your body, la body languages, love languages, uh, brain languages, work ethic languages. You're just learning how to connect with others and vibe with them, work with them really well. This can be like what takes place in your household too, like your, imp your relationships improving within your home. Hangs, man, uh, you are going with the flow. You're feeling like, okay, I'll just see what comes my way. I'll take it easy. You're uh, uh, receiving messages, also downloads, answers from your higher self as well. You're in a peaceful state. Ten of Swords, uh, I will clarify that. I want to know why that's coming in when everything's starting off really um, peaceful. So the Ten of Swords. Okay, why is the Ten of Swords? Oh, it's interesting you have the Ten of Wands right here. So you probably have, are feeling like, you could be feeling like you're overworked. Yeah, you're overworked, you're feeling stressed out, you're feeling like you got your head. The Empress is here because of the, because of, I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords is here because of the Empress. So I feel like, um, when it comes to creating, you feel like you are, I think you, okay, I think there's a blockage when it comes to your creative energy. Uh, for those of you who are trying to conceive, there could be a blockage. Um, I, I think that's what's changing, the Empress changing, the creative en energy changing. Knight of Cups, yeah, I think this is a change. Emotions running high here with the moon. So, wow, this is very heavy. Ten, see? So you got the Empress, Ten of Swords, and now you have Ten of Pentacles. So your, your earthly matters, whether you're trying to conceive, you're trying to make money, that is changing for you in a positive way. You have a lot of Tens. Also, part number two, you had Tens. We have Fortune Ten, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're, some of you are ending things. And then you're, you're welcoming something new that is more beneficial, that's more um, abundant, Seven of Cups. There's a lot of things that are going to be increasing, a lot of things that are going to be changing. It's not just one thing. So your creative endeavors. Okay, so Knight of Cups here. So this Knight of Cups, I think, pertains to love. Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, your single life change your <laughs> love life. If you're a single, it is changing. Your Nine of Pentacles is turning to that's the singlehood, turning into love, into fruitful, loving romance vibes. Like you're feeling really good about yourself. Four of Pentacles. Um, when it comes to for this is you holding on to something that you you deem valuable. You could be um. Hold on. Why is the Queen of Swords coming out? Why is the Queen of Swords coming out? Your possessions. You're holding your possessions. Oh, look at that. Queen of Wands. You're holding your possessions. Whatever you're creating, you're sticking, you're keeping it to yourself. I think that's the best bet. That's something that's changing, too. If you're all about, look at that. Queen of Cups with the moon. If you're all about, you got a lot of queens. You have Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. If you are with someone who always talked about what you were trying to create or trying to manifest, I think you're having a second opinion, a second thought. You're keeping things to yourself, and that's where the magic happens. 
because once you spill the beans, once you tell people what you're working on, they put a lot of <clears throat> negative uh, spins on it. Like, oh, don't do that. You're gonna waste money. Oh, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? And then you impact or you uh, block your success. So six of ones, you will have success if you keep things to yourself. What the hell is my dog doing? She makes so much noise. The moon, what you don't see is your success blossoming, your, your success changing. Four of Wands, Four of Wands. You have Eight of Pentacles, so yes, your money looking good. You honing your crafts, your skills, you're feeling really good. You're getting better with something. You're becoming a boss, you're leveling up. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why? The star, you see your money is gonna be healing. Yes, improving. Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Wands. Ten of Wands with the King of Pentacles. Let me tell you, friend, if you are worrying about money, you need not worry. Strength, Six of Swords, Strength. You're overcoming those challenges, overcoming those crazy, rocky, unsettling waters, uncertain waters, like not knowing what the future has to hold for you, and now you're gonna know. Nine of Swords with the Two of Wands, you're gonna have decisions to make. Why is the fool here? A new beginning is here. All these tens, beginning, new beginnings, and they bring you wish fulfillment. And you got the high priestess right here with the chariot. See, I feel like you're 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 like so like you're ready to start something. You're like, oh man, I can't wait to get my feet wet. I can't wait to blend these energies and make something beautiful. And guess what? Spirit saying, you don't have to try so hard. You don't have to lose ten hours of sleep just to get this started. You are in good hands, my friends, okay? So you do have decisions to make, though. You do have things you have to consider and work through. We do research on, but overall, I see things working in your favor, my friend. So whatever you would do is, yeah, see, look, you're hesitant. I can't wait. Look, three to three, Empress. The angels are motivating you to proceed with stepping into the unknown and starting new projects. You will prevail. Thank you, Spirit. So Spirit saying you don't have to try hard. Higher self, the intuition, the high priestess, you are being reminded to listen to your inner wisdom and strong intuition. It will always guide you. That's the um, high priestess. We saw her somewhere. <laughs> Where the heck did she go? Is she underneath my deck? No. King of Cups. Eight of Cups. Wow. Um, I thought I saw the lovely high priestess. Am I, am, am, am I imagining things? No, I know. I know what I saw. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, seriously. Hold on, we're gonna discover where she is. Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Hi, there, oh, right in my face. Wow. So higher self with the High Priestess. So she is. Your intuition is is like feeling very, very keen, very strong at this time. You got strength, and you have the strength here. Your angels are reminding you of your resilience and bravery. You will overcome obstacles that will teach you strength. There you go. So Spirit is saying you're, you're, good ha you're in good hands. Don't you worry. You got the towel here. So something is breaking up to shake up in your life so that you can start this new quest, this new journey. Um, so don't feel like you are up a creek without a paddle because you're not. All right? And you are working away. Eight of Cups, you have walked away or you will walk away from something that isn't working out any longer. All right, this is what I have for you. Let me know if this makes sense. If you want to book a private reading with me, I would love to dive deeper into this energy. If you would like to vote with us for new pick of cards, check this out. If you want to support my channel in any shape or form, I have Patreon. I have um, my Etsy. You can buy decks from me. These are from other lovely creators. This is my angel heart messages. Um, you can donate via Cash App. Whatever you wish to do, I thank you so, so very much. I bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked any of the things that I said or if you liked any of the materials I used, all the decks that I used, please join us over on Patreon. Your energy exchange goes right back into the videos. More pick a cards, more daily readings, more beautiful decks to use. And I thank you. My Patreon link is below.